for an example of using Mentat on more complicated code, I've cloned Andre Karpathy's Llama2.c project. Uh, let's take a look at it. Um, it's a single C file that runs inference for Meta's Llama2 models. Um, you can see it's 485 lines. So let's give this to Mentat and let's see what it can help us with. So first, you know, if this is a new file or a new code base, you might want to ask for help understanding it. So let's say, give me an outline for the code. Um, and yeah, I will just generate the outline here. It's describing the different things that are in here, helping you get a, a big picture view. Down here, you can see the, the main function. It's splitting up into all the parts. And then you could drill down and ask more questions if you wanted, and that would be a good way to get up to speed on a new code base pretty quickly. But instead, let's ask it to actually make a change to this code. So this is sampling from a transformer. Uh, so something that would be maybe interesting to see is if we sample a token that's not the most likely token, maybe we want to see what the most likely token was uh, at that instance. So let's tell it um, print, or let's say when we sample something that's not the most likely token, print the most likely token in red brackets uh, after the sampled token. And let's see what it does for us. So here it's making its plan. It's going to modify the main function. And let's see the change. OK, it looks pretty good. Let's accept these changes. Let's jump over here. I've jumped to the changes in the file here. Um, Great, so let's exit Mentat, and then let's compile this, and let's run it. Um, I'm going to run it here with a, a very small model that Andre provided that's trained on the tiny stories data set. Let's see what it does. All right, looks like we got a couple stories here. Once upon a time, there was a little girl named Sue. It looks like the most likely token would actually have been something starting with a capital L, probably other names, but it sampled Sue. And then it says Sue had, but it would have been more likely to say Sue loved, and then continue from there. Um, so yeah, you can see it, it works. Uh, we've made a change to this file that we just opened uh, with the help of Mentat. Um, so yeah, I'm super excited to see what you guys do with Mentat. And uh, it's available for free on GitHub, so go try it out. Uh, I'll keep making more videos about it, but uh, yeah, have fun.